Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The word of God that I've chosen to share with you today is taken from the Gospel of Mark, the fourth chapter. I share with you at verse 40. A leper came to Jesus and said, Jesus, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Well, Jesus had compassion on him, stretched out his hand and touched him, and immediately the man was healed. This is the word of God before us today. Please be seated. Liz O'Dwyer was diagnosed with breast cancer back in 2016. She underwent a double mastectomy and chemotherapy. And after a while, the cancer returned. And Liz was told she didn't have a whole long time to live. Well, Liz, as you can imagine, is really depressed. And she went outside to take a walk. Well, as she's taking a walk, she comes to a group of people who were giving away free hugs to anybody who passed by. And so a total stranger came up to Liz and gave her a big hug. Liz said she, she felt so much better. And she started to cry. Now, the man who gave the hug to Liz was named Juan Mann. Now, Juan Mann started the Free Hugs campaign back in 2004. You see, Juan was having a tough time in his life. He, his parents had just gotten divorced. He, his girlfriend had left him. He was feeling miserable. He quit college, and he went back to his home in Australia. Well, while he's in Australia, a friend came to him and decided to take him to a party to get his mind off all his troubles. Juan went to the party, and at the party, he came across a group of people who were all strangers. And a total stranger walks up to him and gives him this big hug. Well, Juan said he felt so much better. He said he, he was feeling like somebody actually cared about him. Well, Juan decided he was going to make a sign, and on the sign he wrote, Free Hugs. Juan took that sign and he went out on, a, on the street and he gave to everyone who came by a free hug. That's how the Free Hugs campaign started. And it now is spread all over the world. Now let me get back to Liz. Liz and Juan became good friends. They became friends for a long time until finally Liz passed away. And Juan said he was so grateful that he was able to bring some comfort to Liz during her time of trouble. Giving a hug to someone who's going through a difficult time can make a big difference in their lives. Also, getting a hug from someone when you're hurting can make a big difference in your life. Look at the Word of God before us here today. A man with leprosy comes up to Jesus one day and says, Jesus, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Now, notice what the Bible says here. Jesus had compassion. He cared about this man. And he reached out and touched him. It's quite amazing that Jesus would touch him. Why do I say that? Because according to Hebrew law, someone who had leprosy, you were not allowed to touch. In fact, that person was called unclean. And no one would ever touch that person. Leprosy is a terrible disease. There are these huge sores all over your body, and it's a very infectious disease. And so people with leprosy, they could go years without anyone ever touching them. Now, everyone needs to have a touch. Young mothers know this so well. Young mothers know that their, their little babies, they need the physical warmth of their touch. Young mothers are, are really good at this. Young mothers, they are the ones who know how important it is that they regularly give to their babies hugs. Whenever I go to visit people in the hospital, I find this to be true for me. Because when I visit them in the hospital, I always have a prayer with them. And while I'm having the prayer with them, I will always touch them. Why do I do that? Because I want them to know that I love them and care about them. 
Jesus here, he could have healed this man with leprosy by speaking to him. But Jesus didn't do that. He didn't say anything to him. He just touched the man and he was healed. That's the first thing we see in the Word of God here before us today. Jesus always gives us what we really need. That man with leprosy, he needed to be touched. And Jesus knew that. And he gave the man what he really needed, the touch of his love. Touching is one of the ways that Jesus shows his love to you and me. Oh, Jesus often shows his love in different ways. For example, just coming here in worship today, you're able to feel the touch of the love of Jesus in your life. Oh, some people feel the love of Jesus through the music that we have here today. Some people will feel the love of Jesus through the beautiful sanctuary that God has blessed us with here. Some people will feel the love of Jesus through a handshake or a hug that they get from one of you here today. Some people will feel the love of Jesus from the prayers that we pray. Some people will feel the love of Jesus when they come forward for Holy Communion later today. As they receive the, the bread and the wine, feeling the presence of Jesus in their lives. And maybe there's one or two people who will feel the love of Jesus through the message that I share with them here each week. The love of Jesus is present in our lives all the time if we'll just pay attention. Now, I know this is a very difficult world. I know the world we live in is very unfair. We are, we're in a world where there are wars, there are murders, there's stealing, there are angry words every day. But this world isn't the end of our life, is it? No, our lives are going to end with the perfect love of Jesus in heaven. And that's the second thing we see in the Word of God here today. Jesus gives us his love at all times. Look at the Word of God here again today. The man with leprosy comes to Jesus and says, Jesus, if you're willing, you can make me clean. And Jesus was willing, wasn't he? And Jesus healed the man. Those are powerful words, aren't they? Sometimes you'll want to say to Jesus, Jesus, if you're willing, you can help me. Jesus, if you're willing, you can heal me. Jesus, if you're willing, you can make me clean. And Jesus always wants to help us. He always wants what is best for us. A woman named Alicia was diagnosed with severe kidney failure. She was told by her doctor if she didn't get a kidney transplant, she was going to die. Well, Alicia had a daughter named Ruth. And Ruth was willing to sacrifice one of her kidneys for her mother. And that's what she did. She sacrificed one of her kidneys, to save her mother's life. It's a great story, isn't it? But do you realize that's the kind of love that Jesus has for you and me? Jesus came to us when we really couldn't get rid of sin and death on our own. Jesus came to this earth and died on a cross to forgive all of our sins so we don't have to live with shame and guilt all the time. Jesus rose from the dead to overcome the fear of dying so that we now can look forward to an eternal life with Jesus through our trust in him. Jesus enables us to look forward to a bright future. Well, Jesus' sacrifice leads us right into the third thing we learned today. Because we find that it's through our trust in Jesus that we have our greatest needs met. Jesus is the one who heals our hurts our troubles and our problems on this earth because Jesus gives us this bright future to look forward to. A woman named Dawn was going through a rough time in her life. She was a recovering alcoholic. She also went through the California earthquake back in 1994. She was feeling really depressed and she decided she was just going to go to a restaurant and she was just going to start drinking again. She went to the restaurant, 
And at the restaurant, she ran into a group of people who were from the Alcoholics Anonymous convention in town. And she got to talk to them, and they kept her from drinking. They ended up keeping her from making her life even worse. Jesus does something similar for you and for me. In Jesus' day, there was no treatment for le leprosy. There was nothing that you could ever do to get better. Only Jesus could heal the man's leprosy. Well, only Jesus was able to make him clean again. It's the power of Jesus that helps us in our lives. When you feel like Jesus is not around you, when you feel like you're all alone, when you feel like your life is going nowhere, take hold of the power of Jesus in your life. Because Jesus can give you a whole new outlook in life. Jesus can give you a bright future to look forward to in heaven. Jesus can heal you. He can make you clean again. Today, we have seen in the word of God what the touch of Jesus can do for you and for me. Jesus can give to you what you really need. Jesus is always willing to give his love for you. And it's your trust in Jesus that's the greatest need you'll ever have. So, is there someone whom you could pass the love of Jesus on to? Is there someone you know who needs the touch of love today? Is there someone you know who could use a, a hug? If so, share your love with them. Share the love of Jesus with them. And God bless us all as we do that. Amen. Let's now stand as we join together in the next song of prayer.